Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to a new game on the on the channel, Craft the World. This is a game that oh, maybe a year ago I uh, did a couple of Let's Sample videos on, and there were several positive comments and a lot of interest in it. And actually, this is a game that Mrs. Rambler really enjoys. She likes Banished, and she likes Craft the World. So it's a I'm gonna guess a couple of years old. Uh, we've got a couple of DLCs that have come out. Both of them are set up right now. I haven't used either of them yet. It's been a while since I've played it. But I have got hundreds of hours in this game prior to the DLCs. It's just a, such a fun game. You just sit back and, and enjoy the evening with this one. So this is what I'm going to dive into for a while. Um, dwarves. Basically building above ground or living underground. Uh, goblins and all kinds of other uh, monsters that will come and attack randomly or at night or there'll be a countdown up here and every 45 minutes a portal will open up and waves of attacks will come in and as you get further into the game the attacks get stronger and stronger but you are stronger and stronger too so it's it's, it's not that difficult um, let's see here let's go into oh, how best to do this. Did it not show me what I wanted? There's a place to choose. Back. Back. There's the back. Hmm. There's a place to choose sandbox or campaign. I don't know where that is now. Okay. Well, we'll just go this route. Um, brand new one. Hit play. There it is. I was I was using an old one. Okay. You can choose a campaign or a custom game. I think we'll go with the campaign just in case this turns into a very long-term series. There's at least four worlds that I'm aware of, and the campaign will take you through one into the next, next, next. Um, let's see. If I get campaign, it does show me them. Okay. Small forested world. Average hills. Easy. Then we go into a medium-sized world, which is ice. You get attacked by yetis and other snow creatures. Uh, average weather, mountains, and normal difficulty. Then you get into the desert world. So you've got mummies and, and uh, all different things like that, pyramids and what have you. Then you go into an underground world. Seems like that was full of, uh, oh, huge mushrooms and, and it's quite, quite interesting, quite different. But we've got to begin clear back here at the small forested world, the land of New Hope. So let's dive into that one. Hopefully my volumes are set up. I had to turn the, the music and whatnot way down. I'm not going to run the... Well, am I going to run the tutorial? I know how to play the game. I just don't know if there'd be any advantage for you guys to see this. I think I'll skip it. I'll just explain things as I go. Unfortunately, we currently only have enough power to send one dwarf. No, skip you. Okay. I don't need the, the story that goes along with it. Anyway, let's take a minute, just kind of look this world over. First of all, this is Skaggy. He's doing nothing. <laughs> um, and if I have him do something, I'm almost immediately going to level up to level 2. And I want a chance to talk a bit before. So let's zoom out a bit. you got your mini-map over here. And basically, this is your world. You can go up to about here. You can go down. Actually, that's it. Okay, as I zoom in further, here we go. It allows me to go even further down. Okay, so taking it back up over here, and then we're back up into there. Okay, so we have quite a good size map here available to us. We can dig down, we can build up. Um, sand, stone, dirt, berry bushes, trees, <clears throat> chickens, you get eggs and feathers. So everything you get, you can harvest parts. Uh, the, the wild boars will give you leather, I believe. The sheeps will give you wool. And uh, there'll be mites that'll drop out of the trees and attack. It'll be, it'll be quite an interesting game. Usually each map has one big rock mountain. So we'll be grabbing stone out of there as well. And we've got enemies built into the map. We've got these graves right here. And every night skeletons will pop up out of them and come over to attack you. And... They've got quite a, a large repertoire that kind of go uh, a lot. Wow, there's a lot of them over here. That's going to be a pretty intense attack wave coming. Was there five and five, ten of them? Wow. Now they have to make their way up and over. So 
If you were to build a wall four or five blocks high, one skeleton will stop and put his shield up, and the next skeleton will climb up on top of him, and the next one until they've got a, a skeleton ladder here for the sixth one to finally get his way up. So the first five are going to end up being a, a ladder, and the other five are actually going to make it all the way over to us. There we are. All right, Sakagi, <clears throat> what are we going to do with you? So we can craft items, or we can equip Skaggy with items that we have crafted. Or we can take these items, put them in our hotbar here, and we can use them out in the world. So in order to do any of those, we're going to need some basic material. So let's have him clear out all of the trees in this area and the one bush. Get a little bit of food coming in. Food is, uh, for the most part, for healing in this game. Sleep is also for healing. And there is a healing potion that you can make. So right in the middle of a battle, you can quickly send a potion over to whoever's injured. Now, when we fill out our green bar here and hit the end, we go to number two and a second dwarf comes in. So very quickly, these first four or five levels vanish on you. And you're wondering where all the, where, where the time went. But um, so basically, let's see. Can I do that without starting the game up again? I can't. All right. Anyway, as you do various tasks that they set before you, you'll get 10 points and 10 points and 200 points for new technology basic tool making. If we head over to, where is that? I'm not, I guess it's this one. There it is, technology tree. Don't remember that symbol. Uh, we're working on this one. So as we do any of these, you can see all of these will give you that much of the, the bar so if we were to do one, two, three, one, two, and three, and then if you were to, to ma do maybe two of each, you would you would finish off the bar, allowing you access to this one, which branches in all the different directions. It's going to give you 200 points if you fill this out. That's what it was saying right here. Uh, new technology, basic tool making. So lots of different tasks. This kind of acts like a tutorial. Explains what you need to be doing and the points you get for doing it. All of it advancing you into higher levels and more dwarves, which means more dwarves to outfit. He's got basically, let's see, equip. He's got a stone knife that is capable of doing basically melee, mining, and lumbering. Later, we're going to specialize all three of these, and only this will do mining, only this will do melee, only this will do uh, lumbering. So right now, this is going to do all of it. So when we do build the tools, we want to build the axe last. Because once we drop the axe in, there's no more mining that's going to happen because this tool was doing the mining. So we've got to work from the bottom up. But you'll be able to build them a backpack or a specialized item uh, for their profession. Uh, there'll be, I believe, a shield will drop into here. I'm not sure. This is a new space for me. Uh, shoes, helmet, armor. So quite a few things we can build to, to outfit our dwarves. Um, they've got three possible professions that they will skill up in. And 100, or 10 to, um, I'm guessing 100 on their, their skill uh, tree for each one of these. And three different categories of items you can place on them. So that's a little overview of what that's all about. One thing I want to do, though, there's really no pauses there. You now this is that for a pause. You've got basically a mana right here six of six and that's used for spells there's only a couple spells in this game and the only one that I really use is a portal and the reason I'm pausing is because we're about to go to level two and I'm gonna lose those six because once you get the next level it'll be probably out of ten or out of twelve and it'll give you whatever it takes to fill it up if we were zero of six it would give me twelve of twelve if I'm six of six it's only gonna give me six more to be twelve of twelve May as well use those six before they're gone. So what I usually do is, let's see, craft? Yeah, in the military is where the portal spell is. Why there, I don't know, but that's where it's always been. Your hotkey bar here, what do we have here? Ten of them? We have nine of them. I'm going to make the guess that's one through nine, but I've never actually used the keyboard to get two of them. I just click them. But there's never enough room here. So if you hold the control down, you can't actually see it happen, but just trust me, if you hold the control down, it's giving you another nine available here. So I'm going to hold the control and put this guy in here. 
When I let go, it goes away. Hit Control, it comes back. So what I'll do is, if I let go, I'll put all the basic stuff you use all the time out here. I hit the Control, I'll have food and spells and a couple of potions, things like that out here. So stuff I don't use as often. So let's grab that spell. And again, before he does enough work to level us up, I'm going to use those. So click and hold and then bring over here. One, two, three. We have one of six left. Oh, yeah, one of six. Not enough mana. It takes two per spell. So this opens up a portal. Eleven minutes and it expires. As I use the portal, it goes. It loses five seconds every time it's, it's uh, used. So if I were to say combine this one. He's going to run over to that portal, come through, but he's lost five seconds. He's going to start tapping away at this one. Let's go ahead and grab all those, those, and those. And that one. There's two layers here. Actually, three layers. We've got the sky in the background, you've got this back layer, and we've got the foreground here. So you can have a wall in the back and imagine a pathway walking in front of that wall, and then a piece of furniture right in, in the front with the wall, wall back behind. So it gives you a, kind of a, a depth. To the, to the world, but still this is really just a two-dimensional slice, vertical slice taken out of the place. But he went through that portal to go do that. He just brought the stone back, dumped it off into the inventory here, then went back to get more. He does still have this tree to take down, but that was enough to give us level two. He dug a tunnel. Uh... <laughs> Something here counted as a tunnel. That wasn't a tunnel. Anyway, he dug a tunnel, and they're happy, and they give me two points, and I've got level two, which means another uh, dwarf is about to show up, as well as the totem, which allows you to make a home, as well as an extra stone, just for good measure. Extra random object. And the portal pops up, and our new dwarf comes in, which is the new DLC. It was all male dwarves before. Now, Liv is part of us whole new uh, set of, of vocals kind of a uh, it's kind of fun to listen to them they, they, they sit there and talk back and forth when they're bored she just picked up resin from that tree so we'll use resin for making torches he's gone off to get stone he's coming back she's eventually going to get some stone too or otherwise she's picking things up anyway let's give her a couple more things to do there actually we'll cancel that one these trees grow up it's better if you wait to the end you get more out of it we must have had a task over here we're going to get 10 points if we collect cer a certain number of stones and we just accomplished that there'll be another one that comes up for doing a certain number of trees and nine was the next level so now we're at nine of nine mana so before we hit level three i'll try to spend those nine over there too I'll just keep this portal going well, it's basically free. Basically, they're going to refill this every time we hit a level. And here in the early part of the game, you're going to hit these levels every few minutes. So, may as well use them up. But, let's get into other things. So, craft, which pauses in the background. Thank goodness. So, I can kind of think a little bit. Let's get them some tools. Axe we're going to do last. Well, it does damage and lumbering. So it would actually act as a melee tool. But the real the club does 15 damage. This does 12 damage. Um, later we'll be able to steal some weapons from some of the enemies that will do 17 and 20 damage. And then mining pick does 20. Lumbering does 20. But, but this won't do any damage to enemies. So you can't just let them run around with this guy. or They're not going to be able to defend themselves. Anyway, this... Let me show you how the crafting works in this game. I, I do like it. It's kind of like um, Minecraft in a way that you're building an axe by placing them into a 3x3 three three grid, kind of the shape of the object. There's your pick. There's your, cl well, I would have thought two verticals for a club, but something else I see. Their, their club is drawn at a diagonal. I guess that's it. But you only have to do this once, and that's what's nice. As well, because all these objects are stored in all these tabs. So all the berries we've been picking and, and apples that have come out of the trees and the wood and the, the resin. So they're all in these tabs here. But as we want to build, say, this one, if I were to click here, it will take me to the tab where it's stored so I don't have to memorize where everything is. As well, drag one over, let go. If I double click, it'll fill in every other wood that it needs that's touching it. So if you were to put it here and it needed a wood there, 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 and there, and there, double click and it will fill in everything that it was touching. So that's one way to quickly put wood throughout everywhere that's needed in this particular recipe. One time does it, there's one of them, but if I were to go somewhere else, 
uh, say here, and then come back to that one right there, it will memorize the recipe. All I have to do now is press once, and it auto-fills it in. So you only have to do that once. You don't have to bring wood over every time. Let's do three of these. So I already had one. There's two more. So let's get the... Oh, this guy next, the uh, the pick. That's going to take two stone. Now, since that was not touching, I, if I double click, it's not going to go over there. It's just going to hit somewhere touching. I can bring it over. Otherwise, I grab another one, bring it over. But wood, double click, and it fills in everything that was touching it. So there is the recipe for. Now I can make four of them total. Hmm. I'm not going to have enough to make all the axes. But let's go ahead and make. Let's just make two of these this time. I'm kind of getting ready for number three to pop in, but I don't have the resources to pull that off yet. And let's do the last one, the axe. So that is going to take two stone and two wood. Let's make two of those. All right, so let's, and we just completed this. What I was showing you earlier, which just opened this one up and it opened this one up for some reason. Oh, level two opened this one up because that's the uh, the wood hatch and the ladder to get us down to make the house. We just got the, the totem given to us. All right, so that is those. Let's, they're working again. Let's equip these guys. So Liv, I'm gonna give you, double click, right there, a club, ax, and the, uh, oh, the ax and the, the pickaxe. I was noticing that the stone knife didn't come back. So that's just for the very beginning. It'll never be seen again. Now, spacebar will will cycle you through. Oh, that's interesting. That's something new. You hold over the character and it gives you the uh, their stats. So has dug up three blocks. <laughs> has walked 25 distance. Uh, mugs of beer drank. Okay. Um, we got all three of these? Yep. So spacebar takes you to the next one. Skaggy. And double, 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 and he's loaded. And that's about all we've got at the moment. All right, they're up and running again, and they're as armored, as armed as they can be so far. Next, dark is coming. Monsters are coming. That's the noise that tells you we're crossing into night. This is kind of our uh, our uh, time of day right here. So this could be a little bit dicey. Let's see here. How do we want to deal with this? And it is kind of dark. Hopefully this comes over well in the video. Let's pick... Hmm. Let's dig down. Let's go that route instead. Let's... Right here. Dig down. And let's craft some ladders. Ladder takes two wood. And we can make five of them. And that will drop into the bar automatically. So, they're grabbing more wood yet. Some of them swim well, some do not swim well. There'll be some that'll just sit there and struggle and struggle and struggle and not move. So, you'll find different training books in the game. And you can give them to the, the ones that need the help. But let's get ladders going into here. And she may be off to go get one right now. Yep, one on her back right there. One in there. And she's going to go down and do some more digging. He's going to grab another ladder. Kind of fun to watch him. I don't know if the skeletons are going to nail us this time or not. Normally by now I've already got a defensive wall up. But I uh, that's the end of the map. Here they are right here. I think they hit at the moon or at midnight. But normally I don't do all this talking at the beginning. I can just concentrate. That's kind of what makes it hard to uh, uh, to do a video. I have found is that I want to. I have enough. I have enough to make two more. Is I said I want to talk and explain, but I can't multitask that well. Not you. Hold. There we go. There, there. There's one of those books. Here's a book that teaches the skill of cooking. So we'll find someone eventually to become the cook. I keep wanting to right-click on something, and that tells them to dig it, so that doesn't work. Anyway, that fills that in. Later, we're going to find that monsters will attack you if they sense you within four blocks. So you kind of want to leave a, a cushion of four blocks above you. One, two, three, four. So we can start digging out this area, like so. Like so. 
Don't know what we're going to find down here. I see we're... Ooh. Boy, that was early. When you get this kind of a thing down below in the ground, there's usually some kind of a hidden chamber. And sometimes there's a boss in there to, to fight. I don't normally see them that early, so maybe or maybe not. That's what I think it is. The ghosts will come down and annoy you. Oh, here's level three, and I miss my night of nine, huh? We'll come down to annoy you, and they'll attack them. They don't harm you. They just knock things all over the place and be uh, you know, pains in the backside. We gained a third dwarf and a pickaxe and a club as a bonus. Okay. Do that. Get, they got rid of them, and we've got a monster coming. All right, so let's craft real quick. So we need an axe, and we can equip the other one, the third one, with what's needed. Who was whom? I didn't see who came. Uh, is that Liv, or is that the third one? Anyway, let's get an axe going real quick. So, no wood. Still no wood? Still no wood. Okay. Um, but... Let's see here. Equip. Helene. Helene. Okay. That is our newest one. And she needs those two and can still use this one for lumbering or lumberjack. So that works out fine. Um, we've got a cookbook available. We're not going to give it to anybody yet. And there's not much more I can do to equip them. It's a little worrisome that I don't have my defenses up yet because they don't heal until they have beds. And I don't think we've even... Well, I think level 3 gave us the ability to make a bed. So we're behind a little bit. We've got to survive this night. Um, and I need wood. I was going to say we can put a hatch on here and seal them in. But we don't have wood to make the hatch. Let's just see how well we do. There's only the one. Let's set an attack, which means they will all go in and attack together. Although... They're a little late helping out, uh, not got them, helping out Liv. What's happening in this direction? Now when it rains, it rains. So we're going to have, oh, they don't seem to have left. Good. They're really giving us a break. Nighttime is almost over. Um, raining will flood things. We should see water already starting to fill up in here. So we've got to, uh, to make up for that. Ooh, Being in thunder, that sounds almost realistic. That's new to me. That's new to the game. Anyway, we're going to tunnel this stuff out. We really need some wood, guys, so let's do the wood. I need to make torches. I need to make more ladders. We can take out a chicken right there. That will uh, That's easy prey. Doesn't fight back. Checking to see if there's any more monsters. There was another one. Here's the skeleton. Oops. Somebody snuck in. Ah. That is a... Doesn't tell me. Actually, I can get that from here. Yeah. Bestiary. So there's parts of the game I always forget are here. We've got our hen, our sheep, our wild boar, our slugs. And... We've not discovered an imp. Why is it showing it to me yet. I wanted to get to the... What is that guy called? I thought this would be in the order that you discovered them. Instead, the giant mite. So that's what fell out of the tree. Fall some trees, not very dangerous, but lumberjacks need to watch out for them. So, yeah, it's showing me all of them now. It used to be that it, at least what I remember, it showed you, them to you as you discovered them. I see. So that's a little different. Notes. Where am I? What do I have under my command? So here's essentially your tutorial, how the game plays. That's yeah, kind of nice to go through. Anyway, we need to kill 10 skeletons. We need to do the new illumination technology. We need to finish our basic woodworking technology and complete the shelter and start basic furnishing. So there's all kinds of tasks ahead of us right now. Five are waiting. But I think this would be a good place to call this one done. We're at three, uh, three dwarves already, three levels. And next episode, the sun will be rising, and we'll see what we can accomplish. So, it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.